Good morning, my students. I am Saiful Islam, English teacher uh, of City Government Girls High School, Chittagong. Today, I am going to uh, take a class of class 9 and 10, uh, English first paper. And uh, today's topic is pie chart. Definitely, you have um, known about uh, the pie chart. It is an important uh, topic of our English first paper. Uh, most of our students uh, do not know how to make a pie chart or description of a pie chart. First of all, we have to think about a pie chart. What is a pie chart? Pie chart is uh, an important uh, uh, topic, uh, especially it is a circled, uh, um, a circle in design, uh, like a wheel, and uh, behind you see. Uh, this is a pie chart and the pie chart uh, is, uh, is described uh, into 100%. The total circle is 100 and uh, different section, different parts uh, of it um, <coughs> have been di uh, divided in different uh, sections, especially in percentage. So in this pie chart, we have uh, different activities. Uh, uh, today's point is, uh, you, uh, if you just uh, think it as an example, you can do different pie charts. A choice of profession among the young people in Bangladesh. So the students who are now in class 9, 10, 11 or 12 classes, even uh, after university, <coughs> uh, they are uh, going to have a job after the education. But most of the students uh, think uh, as a future plan what they are going to do. So <clears throat> there are so many um, jobs uh, occupation in our life. But <clears throat> we can say uh, these are very demandable and the students are thinking about uh, this type of job, um, thinking about this job. Uh, so, among, uh, if you just collect the information uh, from um, uh, 100 people at least, so they, uh, you can uh, have some information about this type of job. Especially, they can uh, show their interest 30% uh, government job, 25% private job, then 12% uh, business, 15% foreign job and 10% I said a job, 8% <coughs> farming. So we can uh, describe in different ways, but you have to, when you are going to describe the uh, pie chart, you should write or um, draw the picture or draw the total circle pie chart in your writing um, copies. Here uh, you can, you have to uh, give the title of the, title of the uh, circle, title of the pie chart. Then you have to <coughs> describe about <coughs> how many parts are there. Suppose you think one, two, three, four, five, six. So this pie chart um, has been divided into six parts. And uh, 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 especially six types of jobs um, have been chosen by the young people of our country. So in the description you have to give the first uh, introduction of this uh, introduction of this pie chart then you can describe detailed uh, description and after that uh, there should be a conclusion. So in description this pie chart, uh, you have three parts. Uh, it is uh, uh, described, it is also instructed in uh, your uh, question that you have to describe the pie chart in 150 words. So it may be more than 150 words or less than 150 words, does not matter. But uh, you have to describe in different ways uh, and in an interesting way. Secondly, you have to analyze uh, the different sections, how they are 
um, bigger or larger, uh, smaller or shorter like this. Okay. So, in the description, first of all, you have to describe the total uh, as it, um, um, uh, this pie chart as it is uh, coming to you. So, we are going to de describe, first of all, choice of profession among the young people of our country. So, you have to start uh, the beginning of the sentences this way. This is a pie chart uh, of um, professional uh, choice of the profession of young people of our country. This is the pie chart of the choice of profession among the young people of our country. So in this pie chart, we see one, two, three, four, five, six, six sections. And they are government job, private job, business, foreign job, ICT job and farming. So this is the general description you have given while you're writing. <coughs> but when you describe in a detailed, um, detailed way, you have to start from the smaller uh, to the larger ones or from the larger ones to the smaller ones. As, uh, as it is appeared in this, uh, you cannot do it. Of course, you can do it. It does not matter. There is not hard and fast rule for doing this. But we are going to, I am going to uh, tell you about, you can start with the bigger ones. So, in the detailed description we say, in this pie chart, most of the, uh, most of the area occupies by the government job. The um, people of, uh, young people, 30% uh, of young people choose government job as their profession. So, this is a very interesting. And secondly, in the next, uh, um, the um, smaller than, a, a little bit uh, smaller uh, per, uh, percentage of the total people uh, choose private job, that is 25 percent. That means, uh, private job is chosen by uh, 5 percent less than the previous ones. In the, uh, in the third uh, position, uh, occup the third position occupies uh, by the uh, young people of foreign jobs choosers. So, in foreign jobs, 15% uh, of the people uh, choose foreign job as their profession. So, after that, the smaller ones is um, fifth, uh, business. Here, 12% uh, young people choose business as their profession. And after that, uh, the smaller ones is ICT job. Students, uh, many of the students of them, uh, at least 10% uh, of the people um, uh, choose ICT as their foreign, as their job, sorry. Then, at the, uh, the last one, the, uh, and the, the uh, smaller ones, uh, a smaller portion of the pie chart is farming, that is 8%. So, 8 percent people uh, choose farming as their future job. So, among the six, um, um, uh, from the six sections, the larger ones is government job and the smaller one is uh, farming. Okay. So, we can say that private and government job and in the conclusion level, we can say that the total uh, pie chart occupies by the half of the, more than half, and you will see 30 percent and 25 percent, government job and private job occupies uh, 55 percent, that is how more than half of the total pie chart occupies by the government and private job. And uh, we can say business is a personal choice that's another type of profession. But foreign job and ICT job are also job, you can say job occupies total. So, 15 and 10, 25, 25, 50 and 80 percent, that is we can say 80 percent of the uh, job, um, 80 percent occupies um, by the job, uh, job seekers. And business is a free, uh, free profession, farming is also a free profession. 
So free population occupies 20%. 20%. So this is a, a type of analysis. So it's true. You have to be uh, a, a bit creative how to describe in a different way but interesting way. Uh, and secondly, uh, analysis should be a, a, a nice. So you ca can get better marks for your uh, for a pie chart description. So I think uh, um, you can uh, describe in 150 words, and uh, while you describe, you should uh, describe in three sentences. That is, one is first one is introduction. In the introduction, you total give the identity, total description, um, facial description of this uh, pie chart, and in the in the body of the next paragraph, paragraph should be the total description or analysis, analytical description of the pie chart. And uh, in the finishing, you can um, draw an interesting sides, uh, interesting sides of this uh, pie chart. That's all. So you can get good marks and you have to use proper uh, words, especially uh, pie chart or chart description words are uh, some, some um, there are some technical words, you should practice it. So definitely you can do better um, and uh, get better marks. Thank you uh, for this time and uh, welcome to my class again. Bye bye.